whole Q&A twice, twice, without hitting record on the other explainer camera. Anyway, today really short Q&A, and today's really short Q&A is about why you should not just stop wearing glasses. And the reason I want to bring this up is because of the internet. And the internet is full of sometimes well-meaning, sometimes God knows what. Ideas and suggestions on how to improve your eyesight. Now, one of these Bates method eye exercise things tells you to not wear glasses, which, which is a really terrible idea. Uh, and in order to understand what you should or shouldn't do, it's always important to understand what the things do and why the things happen. So you're not going to be told some nonsense that doesn't work. So let's understand really briefly today and on the just most basic, simple, tangible, you need to know level, what glasses actually do, right? And we're not gonna get into crazy talk about optics and stuff. We're just gonna talk about why you should not stop wearing glasses. Ready? All right, so here's you, here's you wearing glasses. And here is, here's how far you can see on an eye chart 2020 with your glasses. Now let's just assume for the sake of assuming that you're wearing a minus 4.00. If you don't know your prescription, if your prescription is high or lower, it doesn't matter. Sample number. So you're wearing a minus 4, and with that minus 4, you can see clearly all the way to the eye chart. You see 2020 or better, right? Now what happens, and what people generally often don't understand, is that if you wear a slightly lower prescription, for example, a minus 3.50, so that's a half doctor reduction, the world doesn't just turn blurry. It's not that if your prescription is too low, you can't see clearly. When your prescription is lower than your full prescription, you can't see clearly quite as far, which is why you probably have seen me refer to the diopter bubble um, when we're talking about prescription use. So what happens is if you wear a minus 3.5, maybe you can only see clearly here, right? So if you reduce this, the strength of your prescription a little bit, and you also reduce the room size or bring the chart a little bit closer, you can see clearly again. So it's really important to understand this because it's the basis of prescription use. It's not that you need to wear that minus four for everything. It's you need the minus four to see clearly as far as possible. Because in theory, your full prescription lets you see clearly to infinity. Things just keep getting smaller, but never blurry, right? So, and we're making lots of little shortcuts and simplifications here, but as far as what you need to understand, so you can, for yourself, answer the question, do you need glasses or not? This is what you need to. So, reduce prescription, you can see clearly less far. Uh, you can very easily check this just by printing out an eye chart and trying on your old prescription, see what happens. Super easy to verify. So, now what happens, for example, if people tell you not to wear glasses, if you have minus four, you could now maybe see clearly to here, right? No glasses. So, your diopter bubble, the bubble of clear vision would be this big, right? And whereas with a minus four, your diopter bubble may be this big. That should help start to make sense why you should not stop wearing glasses because it doesn't make your eyes any better, right? Your eyes are not bad because of the minus four. Your eyes are bad for multiple reasons. And actually bad is even the wrong word. You can't see clearly far for multiple reasons. None of these are because you're using a minus four when you're trying to see at a distance. Different topics on reduced prescription, but for example, if you want to reduce your diopter bubble to just seeing your screen clearly, okay, which might be, let's say, 60 centimeters from you, then maybe you only need, for example, a minus 2.50 prescription to see your screen clearly. For example, don't mind the numbers. Now, you reduce your prescription, you use only as much prescription as you need for your primary task. And this is getting into a bunch of other subjects. Don't just start reducing your prescription. A friendly optometrist, somebody who 
is up for these ideas, somebody who understands these ideas and supports them is great help. If you want to get into this, don't just start reducing prescriptions if you don't understand what's going on. This Q&A is just about why you shouldn't stop wearing glasses and this really, really simple reason and which should dispel all the weird Bates whatever stuff is your diopter bubble becomes this tiny, tiny little thing and that doesn't serve any benefit. It's actually not really great for you at all. Vision happens in your brain. We talk about that a lot. So don't just stop wearing your glasses. Why? Because the glasses are not the enemy, right? The glasses are simply the diopter bubble. The glasses simply change how far can you see clearly. Just a little tiny bit or a little bit further with the reduced prescription or a little bit further with a less reduced prescription or all the way to the maximum distance with your full prescription, right? So that's why you want to probably wear a reduced prescription. We'll talk about that later. Don't just stop wearing glasses because all that happens is you can't see anything. That's it. This time I recorded all of it. Hurry right, socks, give it a thumbs up though. This is kind of the first try and you've noticed that I stopped really caring about technical details a whole lot um, in favor of just explaining things and, and stuff. So give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the next one.